We're in Psalm 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. Psalm 19 makes a distinction between God's works and God's word. So a transition from general revelation, the heavens declaring the word of the Lord, and then now to the law and, and the commandments of the Lord speaking to us. This is special or specific revelation. God is now specifically speaking words to us. So when you look at this psalm, uh, the distinction between uh, the heavens speaking to us and God's word speaking to us is also shown by the name of God used in the two uh, descriptions. When the psalm talks about God and the heavens declare the glory of God and the, and the word uses God and the Hebrew word is El. But when it starts talking about the law of the Lord, it doesn't talk about God, but it talks about the Lord. Uh, in your Bibles, it will be capital L-O-R-D. Uh, in the Hebrew, it is a four-letter name, which we normally call Jehovah or Lord. But it's God's personal name. So we move from general knowledge of God to a personal knowledge of God. That's what it's saying. So it says, the law of the Lord converts us. The scriptures are described as the perfect revelation of the Lord. It is uh, perfect, meaning that it is sufficient. There is perfection. It is complete. There is nothing left out that God wants us to know about him that he has not put in his law. So in that sense, it is perfect. It is a complete revelation of God. And so as we embrace this perfect revelation of God, the passage says it converts us. What does that mean? It means that it changes us. It makes us better people. It, it helps us to grow and to improve and to be the people that God wants us to be. So God moves from general revelation to special revelation. And the way to have special revelation is to have the law of the Lord, which is perfect and changes us. And then it talks about the word of God, uses another word. It says the word of the Lord is also his testimony. And it says the testimony of the Lord is sure and it makes us wise. What does that mean? It means the scriptures testify of God. The testimony of God is God's evidence to us. It's like going to a law court and somebody puts out a witness statement. Uh, and, and this testimony is put out to support a fact. And that's what the word of God does. It is God's statement, witness statement of himself to us to support who he is. And so when we read the Bible, we get God's own testimony of himself and God's law about himself. And when we encounter the testimony of the Lord, it says it makes wise the simple. Isn't that amazing? The word of God can take people who are simple and make them brilliant people. Uh, Jesus chose common fishermen and turned them into well changers. And that is the, the greatness of God's word, that it can take you from where you are, change you, convert you, and make you a wise person. It makes you a brilliant person, helps you to think properly, helps you to process your ideas properly. Because when you encounter God's special revelation, you are encountering God himself beyond his creation to his words. And that is the evidence that God gives us. His word is superior to his creation because his word is he himself directly speaking to us. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, your word is perfect and reliable. Thank you for revealing yourself to me in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabil. Shalom, peace, and life to you.